All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 9th of February. Getting ready to take down a whole lot of champagne and Pinot Noir tomorrow night here at the Wine Watch at our sparkling wine tasting pre Valentine's. Sparkling wine tasting, and we've got some great deals on bubbles for you to serve with your loved one. One of the best ways uh, to get things started for Valentine's weekend. All right, well, uh, this is uh, part of the what I drank yesterday part of the show here. And, you know, I go to a lot of tastings throughout the course of the year, and we try to cover everything, but. The UGC, whenever they are in town, you can get me out of my little cave over here. I will drive an hour down to Doral to taste 109 top-level Grand Cru Class A Bordeaux, which is what they had on the table. This is a group that doesn't travel every year to South Florida, so like I said, when they do, they deserve my immediate attention. And you know, it took me all of four hours to taste through 109 wines. I had to rush my way through the sauternes, but not one of the highlights for me from 2009, even though there are highlights in every major appellation here. This is an outstanding vintage. You know, it's no secret. You know, Robert Parker came out and rated like 45 wines, potentially 100 points in his first review. And this did nothing but drive up the prices even further in Bordeaux. You know, 2008, the pricing was reasonable. And that, you know, the first tranche pricing, you could buy Chateau Lafitte for $200. 2009, Chateau Lafitte's $1,200. And 2010, even more expensive. Although there is a lot to like about these wines, I don't know how many people are going to like the prices on these 2009s. And 2010, like I said, more expensive. I cannot see anything but prices coming down from Bordeaux in 2011. But hey, there's a bright side. You know, there's a lot of wines you can buy from Bordeaux that are not crazy expensive. We sold quite a bit of 2009 futures on when they first came out on Premier, I still have Lillian Ledoux for under $30. It got 92 to 95 points from the Wine Spectator, a Saint Julien, La Croix Fijac for under $30, also 92 to 95 points. And uh, both of those are on the end of this offer. So, in addition to all the wines that I've reviewed here for you from 2009 that were at the tasting, 109, I also have included the wines that we've purchased and paid for, most of which have not arrived. So, they should be here end of March, April, right around that time in a few months. If you like them, uh, check them out. Just shoot me back an email. We'll send you an invoice for them and let you know as soon as they arrive. But the other wines also, with pricing, most of them have not arrived. They'll be here shortly as well. But you'll see the price. Pricing has gone up quite a bit, you know, if you didn't buy these wines on Premier. And, you know, I didn't advise people to buy the first gross from 2009. I don't think we sold a bottle of them at the ridiculous price they came out. 2010, ditto. We only sold like four or five bottles on Futures in 2010. You know what? We're advising you to invest in older vintage Bordeaux. And, hey, tomorrow's offer, we're going to have all the Bordeaux we have in the store. I couldn't include it on this one. This one's too long. It's like 50 pages already with these 2009s that we've tasted. All right, well, let's run through the highlights. I started out with Merlot. And uh, let me tell you, the Merlots from saint Emilion and Pomerol, just outstanding. They always show a little bit better than the Cabernet-based wines. Really plump and ripe. One of the things that I kept coming back to, very seductive, very charming. This 2009 vintage is all that. And a box of chocolates. Well, hey, man, the tannin like melted chocolate on your palate. And even though these wines have got a lot of immediate appeal, these wines are going to last a long time. They have got balance. They've got tannin. They've got acid. They've got everything. They've got fruit. They've got everything it takes to make it through the long haul. So I'm a big fan of 2009, maybe similar to 1989, but I wasn't around to taste these wines at that young of a stage. And uh, I just think 2009, one of the most pleasing vintages I've ever had from Bordeaux. The uh, saint Emilion's, like I said, one of the highlights of my tasting. Pomerols were not far behind. Really seductive fruit, chunky tannins, really drinkable. And you started to notice that the tannins after drinking through 20 or 30 of these Merlot-based wines. All right, then we made it through the Medoc and Margot. And again, I realized everything is good in 2009. Margot, also very forward, very drinkable. And, uh, you know, the St. Estef department was short and sweet, but outstanding stuff there. And, uh, you know, Pauillac and St. Julien. You know, even though the Pauillacs... Uh, not quite as uh, forward as the other wines. Well, hey, the Cabernet-based wines of Poyac usually are not. Um, you know, a lot of stuff to like in that appellation as well. Some of the best values on the table. Hey, we did buy a few things after this tasting. Chateau Berlique for $43.56. An excellent value from saint Emilion. Grand Maine, to me, always an overachiever. Most excellent juice at $59. The appellation of Pomerol, really impressive but pricey. Clenet at two dollars to $300 a bottle. 
outstanding juice. I think Parker rated this wine 98 points. But LaPointe looked like a much better value for 59 bucks. Really nice little bottle of Pomerol. Falon Segur, one of the stars of the St. Estef Appalachian for me uh, at 59 bucks, still reasonably priced. And then a few sleepers. Peugeot from Mouly at 39. Sarge Grand La Rose at 27. Uh, and uh, like I said, a lot of great stuff. And the killer deal, which we didn't taste. I couldn't believe this. I had to do a double take with the price. Le Petit Mouton. 79 bucks, the second wine of Mouton for $79 and steal, especially when you think Mouton is $800 a bottle. All right, well, check it out. All the wines that uh, I tasted at the 2009 UGC tasting a few weeks ago at Doral, all the 2009s in the store, and look forward to tomorrow's email with all the old vintage stuff we've got in the store. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.